Today we're diving into the gripping story of Dave Rudabaugh, cowboy, outlaw, and gunfighter. With 15 incredible facts, you'll uncover the highs, lows, and heart-pounding moments of Rudabaugh's life. And guess what? If you're hungry for more, if you want extra facts about this enigmatic figure, just keep watching and let us know in the comments. Get ready to explore the legend of Dave Rudabaugh. It's Wild West history like you've never seen before. Fact number one, David Rudabaugh's Wild West Pursuits. David Rudabaugh was a cowboy, outlaw, and gunfighter in the American Old West. Born on July 14, 1854, in Fulton County, Illinois, he grew up amidst the rugged landscapes of the frontier. Rudabaugh's life took a dramatic turn when he became involved in criminal activities, including cattle rustling and stagecoach robberies. His reputation as a skilled marksman and quick-draw artist earned him notoriety as a gunfighter. Despite his criminal pursuits, Rudabaugh's early years as a cowboy influenced his familiarity with horses and the open range, attributes that would aid him in evading lawmen during his criminal escapades. His daring exploits and clashes with the law made him a prominent figure in the tales of the Wild West. Fact number two, father's demise, a formative loss. Dave Rudabaugh's journey through the Wild West was influenced by early hardship. When he was just a young boy, tragedy struck as his father fell victim to the ravages of the Civil War. The loss of his father during such formative years left an indelible mark on Rudabaugh, shaping his path and perhaps fueling the spirit of adventure and rebellion that would come to define his tumultuous life. Fact number three, Dave Rudabaugh's Arkansas Start. Dave Rudabaugh's outlaw journey took a decisive turn in the early 1870s when he ventured into Arkansas. It was during this period that he embraced a life of crime more fully. The allure of the outlaw lifestyle, with its promises of excitement and rebellion, drew him deeper into the world of illicit activities. His Arkansas exploits marked the beginning of a tumultuous career that would see him involved in various criminal pursuits across the American West. Fact number four, Rudabaugh's outlaw collaboration. Dave Rudabaugh's criminal endeavors deepened as he joined forces with fellow outlaws Milton Yarberry and mysterious Dave Mather. This trio formed a formidable alliance, engaging in daring heists, cattle rustling, and lawless activities across the American frontier. Their reputation for audacious exploits solidified, drawing the attention of law enforcement and adding another layer of infamy to Rudabaugh's name. Fact number five, Rudabaugh's Santa Fe heist. In a daring move that added to his notoriety, Dave Rudabaugh orchestrated a robbery of a Santa Fe Railroad construction camp in October 1876. This audacious act showcased his willingness to target even well-defended targets. Following the heist, Rudabaugh fled south, evading pursuit and leaving behind a trail of intrigue and speculation about his next move. Fact number six, Rudabaugh's narrow lead. In a twist of fate, Dave Rudabaugh arrived in a frontier town on the clear fork of the Brazos River, just days before Wyatt Earp. This timing set the stage for a possible confrontation between the two figures, both with their own reputations and stories to tell. Rudabaugh's brief head start added an element of anticipation and tension to their potential encounter, making this moment a part of Wild West lore. Fact number seven, Earp's Rudabaugh search. In a frustrating twist, Shancy informed Wyatt Earp that Dave Rudabaugh had recently passed through town. However, Shancy was unable to provide information about Rudabaugh's destination. This encounter added an air of mystery to Rudabaugh's movements, as he remained elusive and untraceable. The lack of concrete leads intensified the intrigue surrounding Rudabaugh's whereabouts and intentions. Fact number eight, Earp, Holiday, and Rudabaugh. In a pivotal moment, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holiday engaged in a conversation that marked the beginning of their enduring friendship. During this exchange, Holiday revealed his belief that Dave Rudabaugh was likely returning to Kansas. This crucial information prompted Earp to swiftly send a telegraph to Bat Masterson with the updated lead. The message set events in motion, ultimately leading to Rudabaugh's later capture. This collaboration between Earp, Holiday, and Masterson showcased the intricate network of relationships among Wild West figures, shaping the course of Rudabaugh's fate. Fact number nine, Rudabaugh's bold venture. On January 22nd, 1878, Dave Rudabaugh's gang embarked on their inaugural train robbery near Kinsley, Kansas. This marked a significant escalation in Rudabaugh's criminal pursuits. The gang's audacious attempt to seize the contents of a train demonstrated their growing ambition and willingness to challenge law and order. 
Although the heist wasn't entirely successful, this event foreshadowed Rudabaugh's continued involvement in increasingly daring criminal activities. Fact number 10, Rudabaugh's gang testimony. Facing legal pressure, Dave Rudabaugh made a pivotal decision that altered his criminal course. Presented with an immunity deal by the prosecuting attorney, Rudabaugh chose to testify against his former gang members. This betrayal of his criminal comrades marked a significant turning point in his life, potentially motivated by self-preservation or a desire to escape the cycle of outlawry. Rudabaugh's cooperation with authorities showcased the complex dynamics of loyalty and survival in the Wild West. Fact number 11, Rudabaugh's Railroad Wars involvement. After his release, Dave Rudabaugh found himself at a crossroads, and a surprising opportunity arose. He responded to Bat Masterson's proposition to join a cohort of gunfighters who aligned themselves with the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway during the Railroad Wars. Rudabaugh's acceptance of this role marked a departure from his outlaw past, as he transitioned to a different kind of gunfighting, one shaped by business interests and the evolving dynamics of the American West. Fact number 12, Rudabaugh's confrontation with Deputy Valdez. In a tragic turn of events, Dave Rudabaugh's involvement in the railroad wars took a violent twist. As part of an attempt to seize control of a railway depot, Rudabaugh found himself in a confrontation with law enforcement. Amidst the chaos, he shot and killed Deputy Antonio Lino Valdez. This incident not only marked a grave escalation in the conflict, but also sealed Rudabaugh's fate as a wanted man, further solidifying his reputation as a figure defined by lawlessness and violence. Fact number 13, Rudabaugh and Billy the Kid. After the fatal confrontation with Deputy Antonio Lino Valdez, Dave Rudabaugh sought refuge in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Here, he embarked on a new chapter, aligning himself with a gang that included none other than the infamous Billy the Kid. Rudabaugh's association with the notorious outlaw solidified his place within the annals of Wild West history. His decision to join forces with Billy the Kid exposed him to new adventures and danger, intertwining his story with that of another legendary figure of the era. Fact number 14, Rudabaugh's Prison Sentence. In a significant legal development, Dave Rudabaugh found himself facing the weight of justice in February 1881. Charged with multiple counts of mail robbery, Rudabaugh pleaded guilty during court proceedings. This admission led to a staggering sentence. He was condemned to serve 99 years in prison. This verdict underscored the severity of his criminal activities and marked a decisive chapter in his tumultuous life. Rudabaugh's fate was irrevocably altered as he faced the prospect of spending the rest of his days behind bars, reflecting the stern approach of the legal system towards those who engaged in rampant lawlessness. Fact number 15, Rudabaugh's murder verdict. The legal reckoning for Dave Rudabaugh took a grave turn when he was brought to trial for the murder of Deputy Antonio Lino Valdez in Las Vegas. Found guilty of this heinous crime, Rudabaugh received a death sentence by hanging. This ultimate punishment represented a culmination of his violent exploits and marked the end of his tumultuous journey. The courtroom's judgment resonated with the severity of his actions, leaving no room for redemption. Rudabaugh's fate was sealed and he faced the prospect of paying the ultimate price for his crimes. And there you have it, 15 fascinating facts about the notorious figure Dave Rudabaugh. From his cowboy days to his outlaw pursuits, Rudabaugh's life was a journey through the thrilling, dangerous landscapes of the American Old West. His escapades, alliances, and ultimately his encounters with the law shaped his legacy as an outlaw of the time. If you're hungry for more details about this intriguing criminal's life, and if you'd like to uncover a few additional facts about Dave Rudabaugh, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments below. Remember, history is a tapestry woven with stories like Rudabaugh's, and there's always more to learn. Stay tuned for more captivating tales from the Wild West.